Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new release preview video. Today we have 2023 Brooklyn Collection. This product just came out yesterday. I received this box yesterday, but since we already had Face Off Friday in the works, I figured I would save it for today. So what you get with a box of Brooklyn Collection is you'll get some base cards and you're also going to get two autographs. This is a pretty popular release. It always goes up first to the 582 Montgomery Club members, and then afterwards it goes to the general public. And I was able to get one from the Topps website, actually four of them from the Topps website. So these are coming in directly from Fanatics, and we're going to see what we have in these boxes right here. So thank you very much for joining us. I hope you're all having a very pleasant two days till Christmas on this Saturday. We'll be live tonight for the last time before Christmas. We won't be live tomorrow night. We're going to move our auction from tomorrow night up to today. So we'll be live tonight with an auction and also a box war over on Patreon. So double live stream tonight. All right, let's go ahead and do this one. The first box up is going to be for Top Charger Chick. So Top Charger Chick, good luck to you. Let's see what we can find in box number one. And I hope it's going to be something good. Each box is going to have one pack. Just one, kind of like Inception. Seven cards also, like Inception, except instead of one auto, you get two. There are 81 names on the autograph checklist. There are 50 cards on the base checklist. There's probably going to be parallels in here also. So, Top Charger Jake, here we go. Nice box. Nice little jewel case right there with some artwork there from the Brooklyn Collection. And you can see that kind of the stock looks like about a 100-point stock, just like Inception. All right, so let's see what we've got. First up, card number one, it's going to be, hey, we start off with an autograph. I think that's an Is that an auto or is that printed? I think that's, that's on, yeah, wait, no, that's not an autograph. It's printed. They faked me out right off the bat. Gabriel Moreno, kind of looked like a, an auto there, but that is a fake auto. I guess, you know, would have said top certified auto on the card. So Gabriel Moreno gets us started, kind of like a vintage type design here you can see the nice little old vintage tops logo we've got Raphael Devers next the third card is Zach Greinke and here comes the hits first oh nice we've got Hall of Famer Paul Molitor <laughs> and it's number to 30 and also Kenny Lofton to 99 so a couple old timers then we have a 60th I think what's this called 60th and Broadway it's a new insert set that uh is new 60 Broadway die cut variation of Max Scherzer. This is numbered to 38. So I like the old timers in here. And there's a Riley Green out of 50 for your parallel. So top charger, congratulations on the Paul Mulder autograph. Kenny Lofton too. I think Lofton should be a Hall of Famer. I don't know why he's not. Doesn't make much sense to me if you look at his stats. Man, Kenny Lofton, for me, you talk about top leadoff hitters, at least of my generation when I was following baseball as a kid, I would have put Kenny Lofton Probably ahead of Tim Raines, honestly. So a nice start. Hall of Famer for Mizzy. So Mizzy, let me go get these all put back up. Hall of Famer Paul Molitor. I've got them all put back in your box for you. All nice and ready to go and be shipped out after Christmas. Post office is closed now for the next couple days. So I got all of your auction stuff out today, by the way. Those of you that didn't get out yesterday. And I made it with two minutes to spare. We walked in there and sign on the post office said closed and I was like oh man so luckily uh she was just outside collecting mail and came back and accepted it so all that stuff from the auction it's in the mail by the way we have a consignment auction tonight I hope you can join us for that coming from Dominic so has said he has some great stuff I can't wait to check it out George Weiner's next with box number two all right George here we go with our second box. I hope we get all decent autos. That would be nice. No no Travis Swaggerty autos, please. No Joey Weimer autographs. By the way, let's look at the autograph checklist and see who the bums to look out for are. Hey, Albert Pujols is in here. Hey, this checklist looks pretty nice. Pujols, Rushman, Volpe started off. Barry Larkin, Brett Beatty, Bobby Witt Jr., So Brian, Byron Buxton. So the, the first like eight names are all notable. Then you got... Craig Biggio, Hall of Famer. This checklist is strong. Um, looking this over, we might have some pretty nice ones in here all throughout. Maybe that's, yeah. There's no Buddy Kennedys in here. 
All right, let's see what we have in this next one. Box number two for George Weiner, Corbin Carroll. Rookie card gets us started, and then we have Adley Rushman, base, along with Oscar Colas. And here comes the autos. Dave Winfield, Hall of Famer, Dave Winfield, number to 50. I love these autos. This selection of autos is pretty nice. So on card, Hall of Famer Dave Winfield is the next hit there. And you also get another Hall of Famer, Goose Gossage. Look at the penmanship from Goose, by the way. Let's take a lesson from that. Every prospect, please, look at the penmanship. Dave Winfield is great as well, but Goose Gossage is on another level. That is fantastic. It is numbered 230. So two Hall of Famers in that box. Love that stuff. And we've got a Brett Beatty Black, number to 75. I feel like they may have given you some extra cards here. It's five, six. They give you an extra card. Also have a Mike Piazza number to, to 99 and a Francisco Alvarez to 25. So I think there was eight cards in there. So George won it with the bonus box. Congratulations. And, uh, man, hot, Hall of Fame hot box right there for you, George, with not one but two Hall of Famers. So, yeah, looking over this, this checklist, there's nice names on it. If you're looking for, like, the worst name to avoid, like, I don't even know, maybe, like, Kyle Stowers. Might be one to, to avoid. Sandy Alcantara, not worth all that much. Um, Nestor Cortez, and those are like the worst names. Matthew Libertor, and so there's a lot of big names on there. I see Derek Jeter, Don Mattingly. Let's see what else we can find. That's why people like this product, I guess. Better quality autographs definitely go a long way. And here we go. Nathan is up next in spot number three. By the way, if you wanted to grab one of these boxes for yourself, you'd have to go on eBay now because they sold out rather quickly on Topps' website. They're about two hundred seventy some dollars a box, two seventy, two seventy five. Here's box number three. Let's see if we can find for Nathan here on this very mild Saturday. It reached fifty, fifty six degrees or something like that today. I think I saw the high point. All righty, here we go. I see another. I think sixtieth and Broadway card coming up. Starting things off, we've got Pedro, Pedro Martinez, and then Jordan Walker, rookie card. And Clayton Kershaw. So far, three out of the four autographs have been Hall of Famers. Will it continue? It will not continue. It's a nice card, though. David Wright, one out of uh, 75, numbered one of 75, with a little uniform inscription there, number five. David Wright would have been, you know, considered for the Hall of Fame, I think, if he had not been injured. He had spinal stenosis and made him lose, you know, probably a good, who knows, 10 years off his career. And we have, oh, there he is, Kyle Stowers. I shouldn't have said anything. Why did I say anything? 13 out of 50. And then we have, hey, Gunnar Henderson. That's a nice card right there. 60th Broadway. Numbered to 30. There's 38, it looks like. I love that die cut card. Isn't that nice? It's a sweet looking card. And the last card is Justin Verlander. Number to 50 for Nathan. So, Nathan, sorry for jinxing you. George Weiner with the, uh, with the big box so far. And we have one final box here, and it's going to go to Mizzy. I was going to do a card show video today, but I decided that with this new release coming out yesterday, I didn't want to delay it another day. So you're, uh, if you were looking forward to seeing a card show video, I went to the Westmoreland Card Show. It's a mall show. It was uh, 50 tables. I spent, I think, $400. You know, it's the holidays and everything. So money's kind of tight around the holidays, all the present buying. And here's our last one. It's for Mizzy. So let's see if we can find something great to go out with a bang here for Mizzy at spot number four. Again, check us out. We'll have a live auction tonight. We'll do that first as soon as I get the kids to bed, so probably a little bit after eight or so. We'll go live and do an auction. Usually our auctions are maybe two hours, and then after the auction, we'll go live again with our Saturday Night Box Wars, and that's only available on Patreon. So if you'd like to buy into any of our breaks or get any of these spots like this in these standalone videos with the new releases and stuff, check out our Patreon page. We sell all of our spots on Patreon. There's a link in the description if you'd like to sign up for it and support the channel. Or you can just Google Join Jabs Family Patreon and find the link that way as well. All right, Mizzy, here we go. Last one of this new release. Hope we get some Hall of Famers. We got Masataka Yoshida and A-Rod. In there, the next card up is going to be James Altman, rookie. And here comes the two autos. Card number one, it's a good one. Anthony Volpe, number 99 of 99. That's a good name. He's one of the top rookies in this class. Congratulations on that one, Mizzy. And your second one, it's Sandy Alcantara, number 99, which I said he might be one of the cards to avoid. Just because the other names on here are just so good. Frank Thomas, Gunnar Henderson, 
uh, Josh Young, Jim Palmer, there's Hall of Famers everywhere and great players. But Sandy Alcantara, former Cy Young Award winner there, and had a kind of a rough year last year. But the Volpe will definitely make up for that. And there's Natalie Rushman, numbered to 99. And we're going to wrap this one up with a 60th die cut, 60th Broadway die cut card. It is James Altman, numbered to, I think that might be 38 is what I'm seeing there. These cards are pretty sweet. The backs of the cards, if you're wondering, just go ahead and tell you. I, what the, is that the old Tops building there? Over its 80, 80th, 80 year history, Tops has created and reviewed thousands of trading cards and packing, packaging designs. Some go down in history, some just miss the cuts. In recent years, Tops uncovered a file that includes vintage card designs from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. This unique set displays the content with inspiration from the exclusive vault. So, was this a, were they going to do a, a, a card set like this? That would have been a really cool card, card set to do back in the 50s or 60s, unless we're just talking about the base card design, which I could see that as well. This kind of has a kind of real vintage type feel to it with that little pennant right there. Simple yet sweet. So that's the Brooklyn collection for 2023. Again, if you want to grab one of those boxes, you got to head on over to eBay at this point and shell out 270 and then just cross your fingers and hope you get uh, a decent autograph or two or a nice numbered card. So to our participants, thank you very much for buying into this preview video. And for everybody else, thank you for watching. I hope to see all of you in our live streams tonight. We've got the consignment auction first, and then the box wars. Should be fun. Last live streams before Christmas. We're going to take tomorrow off since it's Christmas Eve. And then uh, Christmas Day, we might come back with a mystery product. after, Like Christmas night, like after everyone's all settled in and all the Christmas hoopla's over all the presents or opened up and all the you know all the wrapping paper cleaned up i think we might go live with some jack's packs jack's mystery packs i'll put those for sale soon thank you very much for watching i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your evening and i will see all of you tonight in the live streams good night everybody